And we are here to talk about a first of a kind initiative in Ottawa with Vets Canada. All the details right now. We have a Jim Lowther with us, President and CEO of uh, Vets Canada, the founder. Very cool. Nice to have you here. Thanks. Nice we to be here. We also have a Debbie Lowther, chair, founder as well. Good to have you here. And Good to be here. This is a great, uh, great initiative. Now, Opened up September 24th. Jim, what exactly opened up September 24th? So we have a we have a, our Ottawa Drop-In Support Center, and what it is is it, it's it's a it's a house where you know veterans who are in crisis can go or homeless veterans. We Ottawa's when it comes to homeless veterans, you know we don't really have too many, but it's a place where veterans can go and get help that that they need. Okay, and Debbie, what exactly does Vets stand for? VETS is Veterans Emergency Transition Services. Okay. So we provide support to veterans who are having a difficult time transitioning from their military service to civilian life who may have, you know, ended up homeless or be at risk of becoming homeless. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jim, can I ask you, so, so how did uh, VETS Canada actually get started? So I'm a veteran myself. I served for 15 years and I had to get out due to injury. Um, I wasn't ready to get out of the military, so, you know, I was suffering. I was lost. Once you're, you're out of that military family, you know, you, you, you feel cut off. Um, so Debbie and, and my doctor, actually, um, kind of convinced me to go do something that I like to do. And I used to like to volunteer in the community. So I went, uh, you know, after a while, it took me a while to actually go volunteer. I, I volunteered in one of the shelters, and I ran into a homeless veteran who I, I knew. He pointed out three other homeless veterans at the dinner and you know I came home and told Debbie and she kind of didn't believe me so she googled it and, and sure enough there wasn't much in Canada about homeless veterans lots in the US um, so we, we actually started something we, we noticed something and we, and we, we you know did something about it we started a small grassroots group that mm -hmm. kind of grew to where it is today we're you know a national charity from from coast to coast to wow. coast where yeah. did the the small grassroots group Halifax. Okay. Halifax. Yep, okay. started in Halifax. So you're right across Canada then? Right across from Newfoundland to BC. Wow. Right across Canada. Could have yeah, feel pretty have, good about that. Yeah, we have over a thousand volunteers, you know, made up of still serving members, Canadian Forces members and, and, and veterans and, uh, you know, so yeah, it's, it's uh, we're 24-7, It's mm -hmm. uh, we're a volunteer-led organization, so okay. yeah, we're volunteers as yeah. well. Yeah. That's something. Debbie, so, so maybe be more specific about some of the <coughs> services yep. that are offered. So we might have a veteran that, that is homeless. We can assist them with, um, you know, finding housing, um, employment opportunities, if, if that's something that they're ready for, uh, connecting them to the resources that are available to them. So Veterans Affairs Canada, of course, is always our first uh, stop, um, making sure that they are receiving all of the benefits that they're entitled to receive. And then, you know, we help out with things like, you know, food, clothing, things like that to get them, you know, kind of back on their feet. And then somebody who might be at risk of becoming homeless, you know, we can pay arrears rent to prevent that eviction from happening. And again, you know, maybe utilities payments, uh, those kinds of things to make sure that the veteran is, um, you know, living in a stable environment. Um, and again, connecting them to the resources that they're entitled to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jim, sorry, did, when did you begin this, this whole? 2010. 2010, so 2010. it hasn't been very long. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Next year will be nine years. It's uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. do you know how many vets, uh, veterans you've helped throughout the years? Well, it's funny, yeah, we just, we, we, we just kind of rounded it up there. Well, we didn't round it up, the, the numbers came in last, last week, and it, it was over, we've taken over 6,000 requests for assistance. Hmm. from veterans and their families across the country. So that's a lot. That, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot, a lot, a lot of folks. Okay, so then Debbie, what exactly um, is being offered at the, at the Ottawa location? At the Ottawa location, so we have a, a trained, you know, social services worker that, that works there, and, you know, she's doing things like connecting people to resources. Um, you know, the first thing that she does when they walk in the door is she does a complete intake to find out exactly what their situation is. Um, so veterans can come there, they can come and do their laundry, they can can come and use computers to, you know, look for uh, housing or um, or employment. Uh, she's there to help out with resume writing and those sorts of things. Okay. Yeah. All right. Seems like a lot of stuff. A lot yeah. of good stuff. Yeah. A lot of companionship, I bet. Yeah. And that, you know what? And that's the uh, one of the most important things actually is peer support because we have our volunteers there as well who are um, either veterans or still serving members themselves. So there is a lot of camaraderie that happens there. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. So Jim. Uh, People watching right now. I mean, how can the community uh, help out you? Help out your organization and, and all these vets. So I mean, we're 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 always looking for volunteers and we're always looking for donations because you know what we do is is a volunteer donated 
led kind of thing, right? I mean, uh, to help, we're, we're help, we're assisting, you know, upwards of 300 veterans a month. You know what I mean? So uh, volunteers and, and donations are, are needed for okay. sure. And volunteers for all sorts of yeah, there's tons of uh, different uh, things they can do for sure. Okay, exact location one more time for people who are. Uh yeah. 517 Besser Street. 517 Besser or so. So mm -hmm. now can the community just come by and maybe take a tour? Or see, yeah, see absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a kitchen and you know they have sandwiches going and coffee and it, it's an amazing place. Mm -hmm. so we have 120 nice volunteers so it, it's a great place for them to, to hang incredible. out That's incredible. 120 volunteers. Thank you. That's Canada.org. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. More daytime coming up in moments. Of course, this is Rogers TV. Thanks for being here.